That's what. There's much more to be seen, but I have to actually go to the museum and go to two other places. So now I'm walking towards the museum side. And you can see me recording this from the Insta360 X3 YouTube video. And the people are commenting behind YouTube video. Hello? No. Can I switch this? I cannot switch this like my phone. I'm stopping this and now to see it. Okay, this is the red fort, the seat of the power of the Mughals, especially Shah Jahan. He said to have built this. But the original story is that it is an Hindu monument built by kings, the Chauhan kings, at least 300 400 years before Shah Jahan. There is two gates, there is a Lahori gate and one, uh, what do you say, uh, New Delhi gate. I don't know which gate it is. As I said, I don't like this stuff. Most of the stuff are actually blocked for the public. I don't know why. So why the hell do they take money for us for viewing it? So do you may walk in this great structure. Yeah. Red Fort, this fort is also still used by the Indian government on August 15th, Independence Day of India. The Prime Minister will always hoist the flag and give a speech around here. So entering this fort, you can see your father. Today is Saturday, a public holiday, and still you can see the rush. This will always be rush holes. Uh, the ticket is 50 rupees for just visiting Red Fort, and there are some new museums inside for 30 rupees more. So keep your ticket for that. It's always worth for taking uh, the full lot. And for foreigners, it's 600 rupees for the fort, and around. Uh, 950 for the museum inclusive. And for that side. Okay, walking through the market over here. You can buy a lot of stuff. That's a place for getting. It's a place for going out through here. Let's see where it goes. I think this will be some kind of place for drinking water and all. Yeah, nothing over here. Just walking through here. I think this is going for the outer side where the not to the back side. Okay. Now going back to the tour. Now continuing the tour. And like I said, to the right. You see people are enjoying, having a lovely time inside, very noisy. But one thing about India I don't like, any monument, there will be a lot of noise. can't understand why people can whisper and talk to each other. But then, everyone has to listen to the Champa Chok, to the bazaar. You can see some of the buildings outside over here. Sorry. It actually looks like British structure. There's a difference in the construction of the British style and the Mughal style. And this is the place where the palace, the king used to live. So now we will just be quiet so that you can hear the sound of the place. I think this is a better way of recording videos. Holding a natural sound, maybe putting a background music like fun with this. 